John Little here for SwasuAthletics.com, joined by Tavita Kulu, senior defensive end for the Southwestern Bulldogs football team. How you doing today, man? Man, I'm doing good. It's good to see you. Thank you for joining us. I appreciate it. One of those things where you get a senior and, and you start to think about it and you're like, man, I've never gotten to sit down and talk with you before, so I, I appreciate you doing so. Uh, I know you're a guy that, you know, maybe shies away from the from the spotlight every once in a while. Yeah, I don't really. <laughs> You don't count. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, you know you're a uh, you're a good-looking guy, so you should you should oh, do that more often. Thank you, thank you. Uh, no awkward moments here, none whatsoever. <laughs> but uh, it uh, that's a stinging loss a little bit. That uh, loss to ECU last week. Uh, you know what does that uh, what does that prove? You know, kind of the foot to the football team as a whole, because you guys in a lot of ways outplayed ECU. Just you know, some some turnovers on the offensive side and. And things didn't go your way. What does that What does that say about football? Is that just how it goes sometimes? It just shows that anything could happen. It's you know we 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 were all prepared out there to you know to really our, our scheme worked on the defensive side, but you know we just all got to work as a team and just you know do our job. And but I guess that night we just, you know it didn't work out our way. Well, there were a couple of games left on the schedule, you know, Southern Nazarene being one, maybe Northwestern down the line, where you guys feel like, well, at least record-wise, you're the better team. But what can you take out of that ECU game to say, man, we can't take anything for granted going into this game against uh, Southern Nazarene on Saturday? Yeah, we just got to go in there prepared and just, you know, we know how Southern Nazarene is, so we can't look down at no team, you know, we just... You know, we can't overlook anybody. We just got to play to the best of our abilities and just keep going like we always have, like we know how to do. So Yeah, the way SNU really hung with Arkansas Monticello on the road last yeah. week, is that something that got your guys' attention? Yeah, exactly, because some teams, they go in there, you know, thinking it's going to be a, this team's going to be a pushover, which I think uh, Monticello does. So, you know, you can never look down at no team. Anything could happen, so. Mm -hmm. Any given Saturday, as the saying goes. But, um, you know, this week against Southern Nazarene, you know, for the defensive line uh, to dominate, what do you think What do you think it's going to take for you guys? What What do you guys go in week-to-week uh, -week -week basis? What is the defensive line's main goal? Because you guys have been just super great at stopping the run this right. year. We just go in there trying to do our job like Coach Chapman tells us to do every, every day. We just, uh, when you get down, you know, just don't, you know, don't think of anything. Just think of the guy in front of you and do your job. That's it. Uh, and just uh, trust everybody else behind you to do their job every time. So, uh, you came here from California yes, a sir. few years ago, yeah. and um, it. You know, sometimes when you're that far away from home or whatever, uh, you know, if something doesn't uh, doesn't go your way, uh, you know, maybe you, you don't stick around. Not obviously talking about you specifically, but uh, you know, it's easy to do that. It's easy to say, man, I'm I'm gone. What's kept you around? Here at Swasu, what is uh, what has kept you through your senior year? You're about to play in uh, in your senior day ball game. Man, just 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 the team. Like I I, I ain't never been closer to 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 this team to this year. To be honest, man. Like every, this year, like all the team, I just been you know got to know everybody and you know I just made a lot of friends in this you know in our football team. So you know that's what really kept me going. And I, and I you know I don't want to be the type to you know quit on the team. And, you know, just hang it up and just, you know, I'm just trying to finish it out, you know, because this is the last time, you know, I'm going to play football, so we'll see, you know. I'm just trying to make some memories before I head back home and everything. So. Absolutely. Uh, you know, as a senior, do you truly start to to relish it and start to really realize, man, these are my last few games I'm playing? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it just hit me in the homecoming game when, mm. when the team started talking. We had a meeting and, you know. The captain started talking, so that, that's when it really hit me. Like, man, yeah, this is, this is the last time where, you know, I'm gonna be playing football. You know, because I'm used to always, you know, playing football, preparing for football every, every year. So that's gonna be kind of weird, you know, not having football around. So yeah, I bet you've been yeah. playing for a long time. Oh, that's what people think. That like, I, I actually just started playing football. Like this would probably be my. Probably my fourth year learning how oh. to play football. Yeah. Tell us about that. See, I love hearing about things like this. So, what were, you know, did you do anything athletically before? Or did you just yeah. start to pursue it? What, what was it for you? I actually played rugby because I was born in New Zealand, mm -hmm. raised there till I was like 12 years old. And, and rugby's then, huge yeah, over there. Yeah, exactly. And then I moved to Australia. I stayed in Sydney and played rugby out there. 
until I was like 17 and then I moved out to California and uh, actually didn't start playing football like like probably my second year of JUCO, uh, yeah, JUCO, so they didn't really, my first year of JUCO, they just only, you know, they only taught me how to play, uh, how to run down the field and just hit somebody on kickoff. <laughs> they didn't really take the time to, you know, teach me how to really play. Little specialty. Yeah, so sec second year for, uh, of my JUCO, that's when they started, you know, teaching me how to really do stuff. I was still new to the game, so when I came over here to Swazo, I was still, you know, I still didn't really know how to play, so Coach Allen kind of coached me up and everything. So, and I really kind of, you know, I learned a lot. I wish I was out here earlier, you know, like earlier in my years and to really understand how to play football, so. Well, I understand, yeah. you know, I, how do you compare the two games, rugby and and football? Do you kind of lump them in one big basket? Is it to say, man, my time in rugby and football is done? Or, you know, do you, do you kind of look at it in a separate way, I guess, so to speak? Uh, actually, after I'm done with football, I'm going to go back to rugby, and, you know. Excellent. Try to, you know, get back in shape and try to play uh, rugby again. It's, and it's a lot different from. Yeah, yeah from how is it? How is it different? Like it, on your body specifically, yeah. how is it different? Uh, it's first, you know, obviously rugby they don't wear no pads. It's almost like football, but it's it's, it's just with no pads, and they don't call out plays within, you know, within the game. It's, yeah. it's, it's an eighty-minute game, and it's forty minutes a half, two halves, forty minutes a half. So you got to be pretty. Pretty fit to be able to play, but you know I gotta get back in shape. So it's different. <laughs> it's a different type of shape. Yeah, you know? exactly. I understand. Exactly. You gotta be strong, but you gotta be <laughs> yeah. in, in. You gotta have your endurance yeah. too. Yeah. Well, we appreciate your time very much. It's good to to talk to you, sit down with you for the first time, and talk to you. And wish you best of luck, not only Thanks. in the rest of your Swasu career, but uh, your, for your future endeavors as a rugby yeah. star back in New <laughs> Zealand. All right. <laughs> we'll see what happens. <laughs> Thanks so much to be Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. You too. Liz Lay here with SwasuAthletics.com. Today I'm sitting with Brian Robinson, wide receiver here at Southwestern. Thanks for sitting with me today. No problem. Yes, let's just jump right in. So, obviously last week was a pretty tough game, homecoming weekend against ECU. Um, it was just a, a tough game. Overall, there were, you know, quite a few mistakes. Talk about, talk about in that game what kind of, attitude everyone had like when you when you guys were kind of making these mistakes how how did you guys still kind of push through the game like were there adjustments made well really no one ever like we made mistakes no one gave up that's one thing it's like a difference from last year to this year like we still fought and never at any point in the game did we think like we're going to lose this game we were still like we, were, we had a chance and we could win this game even with all the you know i don't want to say mistakes because there were just regular mistakes that happen in any game. What were your coaches kind of telling you guys or expressing to you guys about your mistakes? Did they, did they make any specific adjustments during the game? It really was like, just put it behind you and just let it go and let's move on to the next play, just next time. And you have to just make the plays and do what you got to do. Speaking of make the plays, you definitely had a couple really important, quite fancy catches, I might add, during the game. Um, what kind of, you know, attitude did you have to have in order to to get those passes because there were a few drop passes throughout the game and then you come up with this huge play you know close to like the three yard line and you make this huge catch and I think that was a really good momentum changer but were you very confident in in those moments when you were making those those it's, catches I was really trying to I wanted to win the game I was gonna have to do the win so if it I'm, just, I'm really thankful that Dustin threw like threw it to me to give it like had confidence in me to make the play and gave me a chance to Right. So moving forward, you play Southern Nazarene this week, and, you know, I'm assuming you guys are just going to throw ECU behind you and, and move forward. How are the coaches kind of preparing you for this game, telling you to move forward? How are they motivating you for Southern Nazarene? Like, we just know we just have to ex execute. Like, it's the same, same game plan. We just need to execute, and we'll win. Yeah. Do you personally have a, um, like, routine, a preparation routine you do for – certain teams do you watch film or even like right before the game are you just like in your zone or you do you listen to music like what personally do you do to prepare for certain games personally I just just listen to music and then like during the week watch film and just see what I can watch film myself to see what I can do like to, to do what I can do better to just prepare for the game awesome well and I know you on a personal level, and I do not call you Brian. I definitely call you Juice, which is your nickname, and, and I hear that 
I never knew where it came from, but I hear it comes from, you know, a football type of situation. So why don't you explain to us what, how are you, Juice? Why is your name Juice? <laughs> well, um, my freshman year in high school, one of my best friends, his brother came to one of our practices one day and like just started calling me Juice and then just stuck and everybody just started calling me Juice. Well, I, I personally like Juice. I, I probably will never call you Brian, but yeah. um, so after you're done here at Southwestern, what are your plans for, you know, you in the future? Hopefully I would like to coach. Oh, okay. Football? Yes. Would you like to play after college or you think you're just going to kind of... Like, if it happens, it happens, but it's not like, like that's something I have to do. But of course, I, who doesn't want to play after college? Right. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for sitting with me today uh -huh. and, you know, good luck this weekend at Southern Nazarene and do you. <laughs> thank you for having me. John Little back for SwassoAthletics.com. We're talking to Tyler George, sophomore linebacker for the Southwestern Bulldog football team. Tyler, appreciate you being with us. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Appreciate it. it you know, that East Central Boyle game, not the, um, uh, not the results that you guys wanted, certainly. And um, when you look back at that one, uh, you know, just how the, the night kind of flowed, you guys got off to a good start, and then, you know, things just didn't really go your way the rest of the night. Uh, how would you assess it? Man, I mean, our, our defense played really good, and I really thought uh, we had a couple busts, uh, just a couple plays that really, I think, just messed us up, and they scored on and stuff. But other than that, I thought we played pretty good all together. Uh, I don't know. I really wish that you know, it went, went the other way and we, we got the W, but it didn't happen for us. Well, you guys have one more home game remaining against Southern Nazarene, yeah. uh, a chance to kind of, um, I, I guess, redeem yourself, so to speak. Do you think there's going to be a lot of, a lot of motivation for playing as perfectly as you guys can yeah, on Saturday? I, yeah, I hope we come out uh, ready to go, ready to hit them in the mouth, and uh, I really hope we just come out and put it on right at the beginning and don't let up. That's what I, mean, that's what I hope we do. Defense, I think, is going to come out really ready to go too. I think. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about you know what what Southern Nazarene does. Have you guys gotten to see some of them? Or are they they still doing some spread type stuff this we year? We watch some film on them, but they, they run the spread and they run the ball a little bit too. But uh, I think well, our game plan is good this year, uh, this week, so we should shut them down. You know, it just seems like every week you're just going up against some kind of version of the spread. You know, yeah. is, is it a is it a pistol set or is it a true gun or is it five wide receiver? You know, I, I guess that's a reason for being in the four-two-five. Is yeah. uh, is it gets that speed on the field? So, um, with you transitioning to that, you know, since your high school days, how comfortable do you feel in this defense now? Uh, I, I, it took me a while to get kind of into it, but like working in it the last two or three years, like I've really gotten, I've really got to know this defense a lot. I like it. I like it a lot. It's, it's probably it, I like it better than my old school. You know, that three-three-five and. Mm -hmm. I like this a lot better. I'm kind of into it a lot more. Absolutely. Different responsibilities yeah. for you, I guess? Uh, yeah. I mean, you know, like, we're letting the crossers go now and stuff like that. And, you know, I just, it's different, but in the same, you know, in the end, it's all football, you know, regardless of what anybody says. It's, it's football, so, I mean, you go out and play, play with all you got, and, you know, get to the ball and make plays. That's what you got to do. Well, you guys have done that well as a, as a defense overall this year. Um, you guys have a bunch of playmakers. You have a bunch of guys that uh, really win their battles on a game-in, game-out basis. Is it fun to watch the, the tape afterward with this uh, with this group? Is there a lot of, you know, chuckling going on, high-five and yelling, all those things? Uh, all the time. Like, yeah. in, the, in the film room, like, whenever you watch film afterwards, you know, there's always some laughing and stuff, <laughs> seeing what goes on. It's, it's always fun, you know, and you always got, you know, someone getting knocked down and you kind of laughing at and stuff, but... It's always fun, you know. I, I really enjoy it. Absolutely, and when you're dominating a lot of times yeah, out there, I'm yeah, sure it you, helps. Yeah, you always make a little comment after that, like having a big play or something, it's fun. Absolutely. And they, they did a little done and not. Did that really happen? I don't know. Maybe that's just a commercial. <laughs> I'm not sure. Never played organized sports. But we're visiting with Tyler George, uh, Southwestern Oklahoma State linebacker. Um, you know, kind of getting to, to senior day. It, there are a lot of key seniors on both sides of the ball. Yeah. Um, it's going to be tough to lose these guys, but to help them go out on top on senior day, mm -hmm. how much of a motivation do you think that's going to be for the rest of the guys? Man, I, I have one of my best friends, you know, he's a linebacker, Ryan Feller, he's a senior this year, and man, he's, I've always looked up this dude, he's one of the main reasons I came to Swansea, it was just for him, I lived with him, dude, he really is, man, I've always looked up to Ryan, he's been a four-year starter, and he's always played his butt off up here, so I really, you know, I really enjoyed him. 
I hope that the next three games we go out with a W for him. Like, I want to, I want to have a winning season. We will have a winning season, I hope. But, like, definitely I'm playing for that guy right there. And then, you know, Jimbo and Kulu and all them guys, like, all the seniors, man, I, I really hope they come out, like, on a really good note. Right, that's what I want, but we'll see what happens. Absolutely. Hope so, too, and uh, I think it's going to happen for you guys against Southern Nazarene come Saturday. I hope so. Well, I, you don't have to say anything. No. You know, we don't, it, it, it's all right. We don't have to make bold predictions here, yeah. but appreciate your time, man. Yeah, Thanks thank for talking you. to us. Thank you. That is Tyler George, linebacker for the Southwestern Bulldog football team, and again, Swasu takes on Southern Nazarene uh, Senior Day. Coming up on Saturday, it's a 2 o'clock start time, 1 o'clock pregame show. If you can't make it, you can listen to it on the radio, 95.5 The Coyote. Also, watch it online. Go to swasuathletics.com. Do that as well. John Little for swasuathletics.com.